good morning oil traders it is Thursday July 20th at just after 8 30 a.m. Eastern and we're just short of an hour away from East Coast North American markets opening and as you can see it took all night uh, we were stuck at that 47 30 ish level um, and finally broke free at uh, just about 7 a.m. this morning um, this spike here was at 7 15 quarter after 7 um, that's uh, Eastern Eastern Standard Time. Um, we're uh, reaching new highs for the morning right now at uh, about 47.70. Um, looks like 48 is within reach. Uh, seems quite realistic at this point. Um, and uh, so just a refresher on where I stand. Um, as you know, yesterday we bought uh, at 47.25 expecting the turnaround. And of course that doesn't seem to be happening, at least not yet. Um, I do have two long positions, um, the one, with one at 47.10, which is of course now in the money, and the second at 52. I know, it sucks, trust me, I know. Um, they, together, they're at a break-even of 48.80, um, but I don't expect to hold both that long in order to take a break-even on the entire position. Um, I would rather take a profit on the 47 um, long, and hold the 52, not because I necessarily believe that we're going to 52, but rather to use it as a hedge should I be wrong, and we do actually just keep climbing. Um, that's why I play both sides. Um, by adding to my short positions as we go up, I'm essentially kind of quasi-selling a portion of, of that long should we end up turning around and heading downward without me having the opportunity to sell that long. I hope that makes sense. Um, but basically, I'm not worried about taking a loss on the 52 should we dive because I'll, in the meantime, I'm taking profits on my shorts. Um, and it's about playing both sides and having that perspective um, that, you know, at any given point, it's 50-50. And what I personally believe doesn't really matter and no one really cares. Um, so what I believe is that we are heading lower eventually. Um, doesn't look like that's going to happen this week. Maybe it's next week. Um, I don't expect that we're going to go all the way to 42 next week, um, but I do believe that we're going to those lows um, in the near future. Um, and I'm adding to my short positions uh, as evidence of the fact that I do believe that we're now higher than I think most people expect. I'm certainly surprised that we're still climbing. Uh, but the fact that we are still climbing um, is great because it gives me the opportunity to exit at least one of these longs, um, hopefully today. So what am I going to do? Um, right now, it still seems very bullish. Um, we haven't been at these highs, the kind of over 47 and a half for very long um, this morning. It's still trying to push higher. Um, so I, my gut is to wait for Europe to close at 11.30 at least, um, if not wait longer than that. Um, the, I think 48 is definitely reachable. I think if we get there, it's very likely that we're going to break over 48. Um, I think the level to target is somewhere around the 48.20, 48.40 level. Um, and should we get there, um, I'll definitely be selling one position. And then the other question is whether or not to add to my short positions at that particular level or to wait for potentially an even higher um, milestone this month. Uh, it's, it's never an easy decision um, either to buy or to sell. So, you know, if you guys are in the same boat as I am today, then I can certainly uh, empathize with you today. But, um, you know, long term, I've been doing this for quite a while now and sticking to my rules and sticking to my numbers has definitely proven to be the right way to go about it. So I'm going to do my utmost to be patient and wait for Europe um, unless we start tanking um, before our markets open here in East Coast uh, North America um, and uh, play it from there. But for now, I think 48, kind of lower 48s, mid 48s is very likely uh, at this point. Um, Will we go higher than that? I'm not so sure. If we zoom out to three months, um, you can see that it's actually not that long ago 
that we were at 52. That goes back to just um, May 25th, so just a little over two months from uh, since today. Um, so you know, it's not that crazy to expect that we will get there. Uh, personally, I think 50 is going to prove very difficult, um, but. Uh, yeah, we should see. We shall see. Um, for now, I'm targeting the lower 48s as an exit opportunity for one of my longs and take it from there. Um, if we go higher than that, I mean, it just becomes that much more attractive to um, add to my shorts or buy another short. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have planned. Hit me up down below on uh, YouTube in the comments or on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio trades and charts. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards the end of trading today. Cheers, good luck.